Okay, we've talked a lot about the Chiefs Hallmark movie, right? Well, it's not the only movie filmed in the Kansas City area this year. Yeah, a local production company recently wrapped on a lifetime original film. KSHB 41 News reporter Olivia Acri tells us about another film to come out of the KC Metro. Olivia, good morning. Good morning. It's not every day that you see a movie filming, but it's becoming more common. The movie is called Girl in the Garage, and it is a thriller based on a true story. It's about a California woman whose experience with domestic abuse has led her to be an advocate for women in similar situations. You may start seeing these local movie productions more because of tax incentives too. Seeing the lights, cameras, and all the action brought by a movie production in downtown Overland Park is not a common sight. It's not something you see every day, like a film being shot in your area. When AGA Productions took over Monstera's books, owner Kate Wieners says it got some attention. We got a lot of foot traffic the next couple of days with people just wondering like what was going on. Monstera's became the backdrop to a bookstore portrayed in an upcoming Lifetime original called Girl in the Garage. Corey McCartney with AGA Productions is working on the movie. You might uh, recognize a few locations in Westport. You may see a couple of things that you recognize in Overland Park or um, an area near Swilt Park. The movie is set in Los Angeles and Ohio, but McCartney says Kansas City's landscape can transform into it all. The good thing about Kansas City has like a very diverse landscape and depending on what part of town, we actually have locations that can represent a lot of different places. This is just one factor that makes KC a desirable place to film. A 2023 law passed in Missouri has the potential to draw even more movie crews. It offers a 20% tax credit to filmmakers. That's very attractive to buyers or um, just producers coming in. Kansas doesn't have a film tax incentive, but McCartney would like to see that change. So we can actually take advantage of incentives on both sides of the state. And Wieners welcomes the idea of more film crews in the area. It's just like fun to see what you see every day on TV. The list of movies filmed in Kansas City is longer than you think. The credits rolling on your screen are all the movies made in the Kansas City Metro this year. That, of course, includes the Hallmark Chiefs themed movie that comes out on November 30th. That's next Saturday. And that one shot at different locations, including Independence Square. By the way, The Girl in the Garage premieres on Lifetime on January 18th. And if you look closely, you might recognize people yeah. of Kansas City in there. Girl. I think that even those of us that are not in Hollywood have an understanding of how expensive it is to make a movie. Yeah. And so any bit that they can cut that down some is a major attraction. I it's think. really neat to see this because then the whole country sees it. Yes, I know it's so fun, but only we may know those little. That's people. right. <laughs> All right, Olivia, thank you. Thank you.